tinnitus is a fairly complex and not fully understood auditory system anomaly. In a nutshell, according to current research and literature, it is likened to a phantom sound produced by the auditory system to make up for something that is missing. Although not exactly the same, it is analogous to the phantom pain people sometimes experience where an amputated appendage once was. It is important to understand that the presence of tinnitus, example, sudden, constant, and unilateral, can raise the suspicion of an albeit rare yet serious auditory system pathology. It is also important to understand that the presence of tinnitus may arise after exposure to noise. There are two types of tinnitus, objective and subjective. Objective tinnitus is very rare and means that someone else can hear the patient's tinnitus. Subjective tinnitus means that only the patient can hear it and describe its profile example, quality ring, buzz, click, hiss, pulsating, high pitch, low pitch, frequency of occurrence, constant, intermittent, sudden, gradual, and spatial relation, left side, right side, central, directly above, position. Tinnitus is, in the majority of cases, caused by the brain generating a sound to replace a lost frequency. The brain does the same with phantom limbs, most people who have lost a limb mention pain in it, even though physically it doesn't exist. The ability of the brain to extrapolate missing elements helps in many cases, like a blind spot in an eye, it will reconstruct the image and the affected person will not see a black spot in his field of vision but a smooth, uninterrupted image. The reason we can't cure tinnitus is because we know very little about the brain. We can't cure headaches, some people live with them every single day of their lives. We can't explain why some people wake up after 10 years in a coma. We don't even agree on a protocol to treat simple head traumas. We just recently discovered that the brain can regenerate cells and create new ones, something we previously thought impossible. Also, the level of complexity was recently increased in regards to curing tinnitus, we previously thought that it affected only the auditory parts of the brain. We discovered recently, after analyzing the brain of an epileptic who happened to suffer from tinnitus, that it affects the entire brain, and especially the areas related to emotions, on top of areas related to auditory functions. The fact that tinnitus is not localized makes it extremely difficult to cure. I'm sorry to say that the science has not progressed enough to cure tinnitus. The only method applicable now is to attenuate its effects. To work on how you perceive it. To transform the negative perception into a good one. The trick is to convince yourself that this presence is essential. It's a friend. It's a beacon. If it's something you suffer from, whatever you like to call it, try to change your perspective from a negative to a positive one about this persistent sound. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to receive more video related to tinnitus, tinnitus brain training, and tinnitus frequency finder. Check out the link in the description for tinnitus relief. Thank you so much for watching.